Hey there, everybody. It's episode two of Selling Sin City. We are here today at Floyd Lamb Park. What brought us here today? So we were trying to get away from the hustle and bustle of downtown as we did last week. Mm -hmm. um, this allows uh, options for kind of everybody in the family. Um, well, outdoor life, this is where it's at. So today we're going to show you guys a little bit of fishing, some bird watching, um, some mountain biking, and some history. Yeah, a lot of it. Yeah, so the park's open from 8 to 8. Those are the summer hours. Yeah. Bring the family, come by yourself. They got some awesome trails here, so check out the video. Jason and uh, Jason is not a paid actor even though we asked him to do stuff he normally doesn't do like yeah. find some binoculars that's right ask you shall receive there you go yeah. so today he's gonna show you um, he's gonna talk to you more about bird watching at the park and this isn't something you normally do on the weekends or not typically but okay. I've come to find out that it is really relaxing honestly it's very peaceful here and stuff and I did a little bit of research at this park in particular and there's at least over 30 different types of birds here in particular like uh, herons hummingbirds uh, even hawks are here too so it's really neat actually so do you see this as a new hobby or are you just helping us out today i feel like this is an old time hobby that's so when i'm probably around 75 okay, not much so to we, do we've got a little bit of time yeah. for that uh when i asked you to um help us out i mean the whole team is here today the hell is that? <laughs> That's oh a big old bee. <laughs> Sorry, um, that kind of scared me. I don't I, know. I love a... the fact I did not move. I'm cool under pressure. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I heard about killer hornets, so I don't yeah, know if that was true. one. But uh, when we asked you to help out today on bird watching, I didn't expect to walk by and see you on, in a tree bird watching. What was that all about? You do what you got to do. I mean, to get as close as you can, get that perfect shot. You know, why not? You know, all in. All right, so what was what was your most favorite bird you saw? Jeff? Actually, we just saw a hawk that had a wingspan of probably two feet, and it was just chilling on the on probably about 30 feet above us and got a couple pictures on it. It was really, really cool. Just for the fact that it's like, there's so much wild out here, I was quite surprised. It's yeah. gorgeous. I mean, just pulling in and walking in and seeing all those peacocks are just, it's just yeah. amazing. That's the other bird too. I mean, like, they, this is their home and they've been here for at least 30 years and they just keep multiplying over. It's really, really good, cool looking bird. Awesome. Well, check out all the birds we saw. So we're here by the lake and uh, we have Kendra with us. And Kendra, why don't you tell us about the lake? Is this pretty good? It's your first visit here, so it's... I don't know too much about fishing. <laughs> I would love to see you fish. Um, it's pretty good. It's actually there's quite a few fish out there, and they're they're attracted to the lures and to the worms. So you can come out with either one and catch something. Have you caught anything yet? I have not. Okay. But my daughter has, and it was like this big. All right guys, I'm here with uh, Brandon and we're gonna show you kind of the picnic aspect of the park. What did you guys bring with you to eat? Um, we bought some spaghetti and meatballs. Nice. And some spinach and artichoke dip, cheese crackers and pepperoni. And what'd you bring the dog? I saw some special for him. We brought him rice and chicken. What? Yeah. Is that how he eats every day or? Only on special occasion. All right, well, this. what do you think of this picnic spot? It's nice, great big open spot. Um, nice, relaxing. The water is kind of soothing. 
And the first thing I remember you were talking about was it was like what 110, 114 today when we got here. You just mentioned that it was so much cooler. So much cooler. Yeah. Definitely doesn't feel like 110. All the trees. The valley, yeah. Help a lot. All right, guys. I'm gonna go show you the trail that Tule Springs has to offer for mountain bikers. So check it out. Thank you.